So to export an image on Twinmotion is actually very easy. I have a Revit model here that, you know, it's the Revit sample model, but we're going to try and rent, um, you know, export an image from this. All you have to do is go to the bottom panel here. You're going to see some options that says export. But first, in order for you to export, you have to actually create the image, right? So we're going to go back to media and I have some images that I've created before, but I'm just going to create a new one. You can take a snapshot of this, like, you know, a camera snapshot. Just click the plus icon here when it's selected an image there are other options as video as well but since we're focusing on image you just have a still image that you can go ahead and export so we're going to export this one and as well we're also going to export one of the other images that i created before just to take a sneak peek this is what it looks like a kind of render image that i did for the revit model that i did before so i'm going to export these two images image two and image one so once you have the pictures that you want just go over try and remember the name this is currently image 5 so it's important that you try to name the file so let's go ahead there's a three you know there's three dot menu options here go ahead and select that and then rename the file so let's just call this oe1 or picture1 sorry let's call this picture1 and then go over to the second one and give it a name as well okay that's selected just call this picture2 so these are the two images that we want to export so go ahead and click export and then on the image panel you can see the options here exporting to local drive you can also export to cloud access but that's not what we're going to be we're not going to be touching that today so go ahead and in this icon here image there's jpg just click once you go on to click image it's going to show you the three options you can use jpeg or png i'm going to use jpeg this time and you can also set additional details whether you want the refinement to be high or low you know if you want max lighting from this imaging you can go ahead and select all that then go ahead and click the three the blue icon here to in order for you to select the images that you want so i'm going to uncheck these other images that i chose before and just only select picture one and picture two and once you have done selecting once you're done selecting those two go back and then just hover the mouse away from it it's going to show you those two options selected I'm also going to uncheck video because I think I had video selected before. So I'm going to uncheck this option so the rendering can be quick and that's all you have to do. So scroll down a bit, you're going to see start export and then you can go ahead and choose the location where you want your file to be stored. I have a location here already. I'm just going to choose select that folder and then you're done.